showing you guys. It is uh, super late. I want to say it's probably like it's about to be eight o'clock, seven forty-five, seven forty-two actually. But I'm heading to go grab some non-vanos rods and uh, rods and pistons for my buddy Jackson. Uh, his motor just blew on the track, and uh, I want to help him out. <clears throat> um, crazy I, I've never met this guy before but I sent him a text because I just I mean I text him on Instagram or whatever but I was like yo um, what's wrong with the car is like you need help and he was like yeah man come on down and come help I'm like, all right fuck it so I want to come help and um, turns out it was a it, it seemed like it was a blown head gasket because it's mixing oil and gas so it was it was just full of oil in one of the cylinders like the spark plug walls and um, yeah, so we just decided to uh, delay the car or retire the car for the season, I guess, or something. And hopefully she'll come back pretty soon. She's got this awesome sick paint job. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Oh, by the way, this is future Eddie um, in the video. Um, probably like a couple days after uh, I recorded this segment of the video because I'm sure you guys are probably looking at the race German uh, faceplate, so. Uh, it is two days up in future, so right now I'm just driving. I'm gonna go pick up these rods, and then I'm gonna show you uh, my buddy Nick's uh, E30. He does have a turbo M50 non Vanos uh, E30. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, he hasn't gotten to, he's gotten he hasn't gotten time to get tuned yet, but I think we were just pushing 10 pounds like whenever I first rode in it. And it feels amazing. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to fill my car. I feel like it's going to be way different. It's going to have a different power curve, and I just can't wait. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys are always on top of notifications or whatever. And just make sure that you guys are uh, commenting and doing all your work because I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. I really do. Um, you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. What? doing the same shit again. <laughs> per Eddie's pretty much advice. I don't know. That ain't going nowhere, buddy. Oh shit. It blew right off the thing. Oh no. You won't curl that bad girl. Wanna hold it? No, I thought I have a phone around here. Dude, I'm so freaking stoked for today. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, hope everybody's doing all right. Hope everybody's doing okay. Um, today's a very special day for the E30 because today is the day that I am um, finally going to be switching this ECU out for one of these. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a chair right now because I'm, I'm in the process of moving out to a, an apartment. But um, what I have here is a Link G4X uh, ECU. This is a plug and play system for an E36 M50 TU or M50 B25 TU. Um, this was on sale, so I had to cop it off of Shop Jimmy O. Um, shout out to them. I was able to get this thing super quick and super easy and affordable. Uh, I think I paid literally like I think one one K plus like slightly 
and I got myself a standalone. So shout out to them for the deal. And I'm going to be swapping out the ECU for the link. So hopefully we get this and I need a fuel pump because I need to put a fuel pump in this. And hoping that should be it for just getting the car started up and running. And then we got to figure out, um, uh, what do you call it? Tuning situation. So I'll definitely get that situated down in the future. But the car is going to be starting and driving in no time soon. Thanks to Link. All right. So the first thing you want to do is get yourself a star bit or a Torx. It doesn't have to be a security key. The security key is the one with the hole in the middle, but you don't need that. Um, just get you a bit that will fit these Torx bits that are in there. They're a little bit on there, kind of tight. I tried doing it with a handheld with a screwdriver, but I definitely would recommend if you got like a bigger handle screwdriver, definitely do it. Don't get one of these crappy, you know, do it for like iPhones or whatever, like work on them. But you're gonna try to do this one handed. Just break it loose. There you go. Once so you get this one loose, it's pretty much the same process on changing it out chips on these things. So if you know how to do that, then you could definitely probably try to do this too. But I've done it already once before because this does have an RK Tunes um, chip in it. So we won't be needing that anymore. So eh, there we go. So we're just going to go ahead and just change this out. We're going to pop this cover out and then take the screws that are needed to take this apart. And we can get the, the board out and put it on the, the plate on this. So give me one second. Make sure you take the top screws out. I did the mistake already on doing the top ones and not the bottom ones. So uh, make sure you guys take the top ones out, not the bottom ones. Well, I think you'll probably take out the bottom ones later, but anyway, but let's just go ahead and take the top ones off. I'm just going to go ahead and take the top ones. They're all the same size, these bigger screws. So I don't have to worry about losing or putting them in the wrong place. So, all right, so top is off and we can pop this off. Since I already previously did this, this was easier. You probably will have to get rid of some of the, the little, you know, little pins that are pretty much on the side. Take this guy loose too. So these smaller ones are obviously smaller than the other ones, so I ain't gonna try to organize. I just know, visually expecting it, so. Okay, let's see why this isn't, it seems like it's just spinning on there. It's not really coming out. And there should be one more. That should just be holding in the pin pretty much on this side. Oh, no, that one's already out. So, theoretically, should be able to just pop this out, but I'm going to see what the situation is over right here in the middle. Because in the middle, it seems like there's something that is blocking. I want to try to push it, but I don't want to break it. I pinch this. There we go. All right. So that just came out. That's our stock ECU. That is a, uh, that's a Bosch 413 ECU. So... I don't want to touch anything else, it's kind of scared to do, but uh, yeah, that's what you do. Uh, all in this glory, all BMW. Sadly, this BMW is going to go away, so this is going to go on the bed.
And then we are going to open our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wing key CD. So what we are going to do is keep our bolts to the side. Don't lose them because you definitely need them. But I'm just gonna make sure that's on there. That's I guess like a protectant, so it doesn't like art or it doesn't like short out or something dangerous can happen to your prized possession. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. Attention, uh, please ensure the latest and firmware is installed. Well, you gotta get the full experience with me. So. So, pull this off. Boom. ECU already. All right. I'm going to grab the ECU. It does have a bar sensor or map sensor. So, we're just going to set that on our bed. I have in here. Ooh, some stickers. Okay, let's go. Ooh, this is nice. It's like a, it's like a 3D sticker. See, it's got a little lip on it. Nice. Okay, and then I can slap these on the car if I want to or whatever. Awesome. All right. Uh, BMW Link E36 M50 B25 to you. Da 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 da. Yeah yeah yeah. All right. We got this. That's that's what comes in the box. We're gonna read that until we, or I'm probably gonna read it and see what we got for instructions, but let's just see what all we got. Alrighty, so in this box, there's this, stickers, and a manual. And here we got, what we got? We got nothing else, just a cable for the tuning. And then I have no idea what this is, but I'm gonna open it up just to see. I wonder what this is. It's like, uh, I have no idea. What is this? All right, I'm just gonna keep that in the bag just because it smells kind of funny, so. In the bag she goes. All right, can tuning cable, so that's the tuning. Let's see what the instructions say. Cost me beautiful stickers to the side. We got product warranty. Introductions, pre-installation. There we go. There we go. And so we got the instruction manuals for disclaimer, PC option, F1, do 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 do. Remove the plastic clip from the center of the case. Okay. Drill two holes from the top of the cover of the case, one for vacuum line and one for tuning cable. Thread a length of vacuum hose through the hole to connect to the cable tie to the hose joiner and a small length of vacuum hose attached to the length of CU. Mm -hmm. All right, so I just read this, uh, pretty much just saying like how to start up and all installations, what you need to do to get a um, set up on your car. 
So we're definitely going to follow these steps and make sure we ensure a great startup and whatever for the car. So that's that. Um, let's go back to installing this ECU onto our um, plate. So it says we got to drill a couple holes here and there. But other than that, it should be pretty sim simple. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop this out. Be very careful, I don't want to hurt anything on the motherboard. And it says to be aware of static shock, so we are going to be not on the ground and make sure I discharge myself by touching something metal. So, like that. And we are going to go ahead and work on this. So... We're going to keep this on there, make sure it's gr not grounded to anything. Wow, look at that. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's see, this needs to be like this because the bottom of that is like so. So we're going to do that like that and then like that. There we go. So it should just see it in there pretty easily. Okay, cool. Nice. All right. So we got a can. Thing right here, can two, can one. Okay, so I can add inputs and whatever to this. Okay, that's awesome. Bro, look how sick this looks. Look at attention to detail. That thing's so beautiful. at night uh, the car is pretty much set to go we got all the leaks figured out and dialed in uh, turbo and all that's all placed in hopefully we got no leaks from there hopefully that's all fixed hopefully we already handled all the leaks that we need but it should be ready for startup uh, just got to plug in a couple numbers on the ECU and we should be ready to go and see something happen Right, we got the ECU. I'm gonna go ahead and put the John up. First time. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, let me get over the other side. Uh, All right. Yes, this is my first time. Should be no switch power, so we are going to, go to plug in our EC utero to the EC uterus with the Jimaro Jumaro. Just perfect. Let's 
coisa. It's super tight. Can you fit? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Never goes on first try. Oh, alrighty. So theoretically, fuel pump should not kick on. Okay. Did not hear fuel pump. No fuel pump. Sorry. You see uterus connected. All right. There should be a link ECU book somewhere. I think I gotta read it. Yeah. Alright. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do file. Open. And then we stop recording. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. You good? Ready? Mm-hmm. Ha <laughs> ha